My parents used to tell me that I used to kick the ball around in the crib. And that ever since I was a little boy, all I really wanted to do was play football. I remember juggling the ball in the street. I even remember playing in elementary when I tried to take on everybody that came my way. I never really got to see my father play in a World Cup. The first two, I wasn't born yet. And this last one, I'm too young to remember. Dad, this one's for you. The stage is set. Ecuador versus Colombia. Antonio Valencia and the host nation versus Radamel Falcao and the visitors. Colombia is in seventh place and Ecuador in eighth. A win could put either nation one step closer to the World Cup as both teams line up. Pleasantries are exchanged. They both prepare for the national anthem. But all Sanderson Valderrama could think about is his dream of one day wearing the national colors and playing in front of his father. For this match, the manager has opted for Sanderson to play a little bit deeper. So he's going to play as a central midfielder next to Freddy Guarín. But could the partnership flourish? As the kickoff starts, Sanderson runs around. He's a little excited. But he still maintains the calmness about him. And you can see that with Colombia's free-flowing football as Jackson Martinez passes to Valderrama. Valderrama finds Cuadrado. Back to Valderrama, who gives it to Freddy Guarín and then starts moving around. Nice triangles going around. The game is still going. Valderrama still trying to find his feet. Manages a pass to Jackson Martinez. But it's halted by Arazo as Cuadrado tries to find a shot. And it's almost a goal. Good job by the goalkeeper. Ecuador, though, will not go quiet. A pass down to Ariovi with a miss. Valderrama then going with Pablo Armero down the side to Falcao who will try to shoot but it's blocked by Ramirez. Ecuador once again trying to find it now with Castillo. Ayovi and Castillo pretty much doing everything they can the whole game. But now? Now it's time for Sanderson to get inspired once again and this time it's not for himself. This time it's for somebody special in the, in the, in the crowd. This time, this time it's for you, Dad. Sanders takes a cool shot to make it 1-0. 1-0 and make his father proud who's watching him in the stands. And he knows this. He knows this. Now, now Colombia's in fifth gear. As Jackson Martinez passes it to Valderrama and Valderrama to Guarín. Guarín releases Cuadrado. Cuadrado halts. Does a little trickery. Goes up and Falcao amazingly calmly puts it 2-0 Ecuador cannot believe it Falcao will celebrate and Colombia would rejoice that's pretty much what happened in the first half the second half they only managed this shot on goal for Ecuador and Ecuador is really really upset all I know is Sanderson Valderrama's parents must be proud 2-0 with his son scoring a goal 9.5 match rating. Look at all the passes, all the short passes I had. Santos and Valram were getting off to a good start with the national team. The possession, I mean, 55%. The match stats, I mean, it was all in favor of Colombia. And all the news surrounded by this debut victory from Sanderson Valderrama. As you can see, Colombia is now in fifth place and pretty much poised to make it into the World Cup unless something happens. Get home, the manager is excited because we already completed all the objectives and we gotta maintain two. We're still in 11th place, but that could all change. He decides to rest me. You know, I guess I'm a bit tired, I've been playing a lot and I've had a long trip. But the team manages without me and it's 2-1 and I'm, I'm, I'm excited. We're going up against QPR. QPR is a tough team, they were in the Premier League last season. And they're pretty much favorites to go into the championship. Anyways, thanks guys for watching this video. Once again, this is the amazing comments of the week. This time it's from Twitter and from YouTube. So from Twitter, thank you, Mr. Sammy NHO10. I'm glad I can do something to help you study and relax. And from my good friend Soy Magical Burger, who's been a very, very active supporter, just mentioning my name with James Cameron. I thought that was a bit funny and I thought that was just that was a really good comment. Thank you very much. And yes, guys, this is my very first pink slip. So the next video is going to be a pink slip. But I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm going to play for Mario Goatset. 
So if you are interested in Mario Goats, I believe he goes in between 40k and 60k. If you're interested in him, put it down in the comment section down below. Tell me you want to play. It's only Xbox One. I'm sorry, PS4. I am going to try to get one, but I don't have one at the moment. For Manuel Neuer, though, if you go to Twitter, follow me on Twitter, put hashtag FullMetalFIFA, and put down what you think the scoreline is going to be on the next video of Pink Slips. If you guess the right scoreline, I'll pick somebody at random, and he'll get the chance to play for Manuel Neuer on the next Pink Slips. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like this channel. Comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. It's helping me grow. The, the, the community, again, has been unbelievable with the support. Once again, Full Metal Zoe, out.